thought I was bringing the specialist with me, but I don't see him. Unless he's in that bag in the way back. <laughs> Forming the duties of his office of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we're going to be checking out Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. As you guys know, I absolutely love Mudrunner. Now, what you might not know is how I feel about SnowRunner. Because SnowRunner was the game that came after Mudrunner, but before this one. Now, I'm not saying it was a crappy game, it was not. It was actually really well done, I did enjoy a lot of the time I spent in it. However, there were a lot of things about it that annoyed the ever-loving crap out of me, and unfortunately, this game appears to have inherited pretty much all of them. But if I shift it into automatic, the differential instantly kicks out. Now that would not even be a big deal, apart from the fact that every single gear on this truck has to go through automatic if you want to change it. So if I want to go from low to reverse, I have to go through automatic to get to it, and that's going to instantly kick off the diff. And that drives me mental. I don't know how many of you have ever actually driven a vehicle with either automatic or manual diffs. I mean, quite frankly, in this game universe, these trucks are supposedly designed to handle all this insanely rugged terrain. The last thing you want in any off-roading situation is for your diff lock to just saw it off and take a smoke break whenever it feels like it. Now, if I had to actually pick out the next biggest thing that annoyed me, it would be the lack of, well, basically finding your own path. Because the Major League selling point for this game is supposedly we're going to give you an objective, you can choose your own path, you can do it your own way, you can do whatever, blah blah blah, as long as you get it done. Now, I have admittedly only played the little Colorado map, and I have actually been told, I don't know this yet, but I have been told that what I'm about to complain about does go away once you get into the main maps. But yeah, I had like one objective where I had to go rescue a truck from a pond, and when I got to the pond, I noticed that the truck was actually alongside the edge of the pond. So instead of going straight to the middle of the pond, which, you know, quite frankly was really stupid to do if you had an alternative, I went around the edge of the pond, I hooked onto the truck, I towed it all the way back home, only to discover that rescuing the truck was not the objective, hitting the little checkpoint in front of it, which just so happened to be in the middle of the stupid pond, that was the objective. So I had to unhook the truck, I had to drive all the way back to the pond, I had to go out into the middle of it for no f***ing reason whatsoever, and then it unlocked and I could go back and finish the mission. So yeah, in a game where I can supposedly make my own decisions and my own choices, not being able to do that is a serious buzzkill. But on the plus side, this game is incredibly beautiful. I mean, admittedly, I have only seen the little Colorado map so far, but yeah, the graphics are absolutely gorgeous. They've completely nailed the physics. Everything does feel all nice and chunky and bouncy and heavy the way a good off-roading game should feel. The terrain deformation is exactly what I wanted it to be. And the driving does actually feel like genuine off-road driving. So yeah, this is not a game I dislike, this is not a game that's been a disappointment, this is actually a really good game that has some really annoying things about it. Now, while I am not entirely optimistic, I am eternally hopeful that once we check out one of the more advanced maps here, like Arizona or the Carpathians, I haven't actually decided which one of the two I want to go to first. I'm thinking it might have to be Arizona because, also annoyingly, there are a few like truck upgrades that I want to unlock. Oh, I don't know, for example, say the actual transmission that isn't complete garbage. And in order to do that, I have to actually complete a very specific mission, none of which were actually on the little Colorado map. So I don't know what map the missions are on, but those are probably where we're going to go first. In fact, really quick, let me go back to little Colorado. I'll load up a truck and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you take a truck like the Acetone here, and I know it's not actually Acetone, but that's what I've been calling it since I started playing. But anyway, yeah, this is a truck I actually like. Unlike the Dawn 71, which is complete and utter garbage, and the Step 310E, which is not a terrible truck, but it's not quite as, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't feel as useful to me as the Acetone does. Now, if I want to put a decent transmission in the Acetone, 
for example, the fine-tune transmission, which will allow me to have manual mode for lower gears, which is what I prefer, and provides good off-road performance at the expense of strength and fuel efficiency, which we don't worry about because, quite frankly, fuel efficiency is not that complicated to do in this game. Anyway, yeah, to do that, I have to complete the mission New Areas. Now, I have no idea where the hell the mission New Areas is. I'm kind of hoping it's in Arizona, because if we can, I'm going to do that mission, and that will give us a chance to check out Arizona, and then we're going to go check out the Carpathian Mountains, because I really, really, really want to see that map. So, let's go take a look at Arizona and see if that actually has the specific mission I need to be able to buy the stupid gearbox I want and hopefully make this truck a hundred times better. I mean, it's not like we're hurting for money, for God's sakes. I got 56400 in the bank because the tutorial missions were so insanely easy, I never needed to use a single jack screw or a single winch point or any extra gas or any spare parts or any of the other crap that it insisted I was absolutely going to need no matter what. Okay, Arizona, what do you got for me? Okay, Grand Canyon, free roam. All right, there it is, new areas. So, to attract customers to the region, we've decided to expand the scope of our company's work. Explore the marked areas, and you may find something of interest there. Okay, it's easy difficulty, which, quite frankly, everything I've done so far has been easy difficulty. 1,300 meters I'm pretty sure is what that one is and then it says we can do two trucks and there's gonna be a lot of height differential terrains alright well let's go see what we've got for trucks and I think this is the one we're gonna do oh I stand corrected no we're not we are apparently going to go do breaking Brad okay yesterday biologist Brad Cook took a mobile lab into the desert without notice we're concerned he may have taken some ill-advised substances and gotten lost it's beautiful I'm still scared Authorities say he hasn't been gone long enough to report him missing, so we'd like to contract your team for a rescue operation. You know what? We can probably do that, no problem at all, but before we do that, I'm kind of curious to go see if the Carpathian map also has everything locked up, and if I'm going to have to complete Arizona to unlock it. Okay, nope, apparently all I gotta do is the prologue, and then I can do the supply run. Oh, now I gotta do losing your head. Where's losing your head? That's up here. Okay, to do that, I need to do follow the lights. Follow lights says I need to complete white spots. White spots, I need to do glamour shots. Glamour shots, I need to do water is life. That one requires ancient fire. That one requires stone faced. And that one requires the prologue. Oh, and here we are back in Arizona. And unsurprisingly, in order to do Breaking Bad, I have to complete in order to preserve. To do that, I have to do Fallen from Heaven. To do that, I have to do Squatter's Rights. And to do that, I have to do... Okay, Conquest of the Frontier. Here is the first series contract. The government lost a cargo near a field base and asked to return it back. You can deliver it to the base and then we'll figure out how to send it to the recipient. Now, I am also required to bring an anchor and a jack screw, whether I want to or not. I'm also being required to use the scout, which means I'm not going to be allowed to take the acetone, in spite of the fact that it is a much better vehicle for this. Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually use the acetone? Uh, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that, even though I really don't want to have to pay for these stupid things. Whoops, that's not how you do that, Digby. Because I'm not going to use them on this mission. Okay, waypoint number one is over here, so let's see what kind of a mess we're going to get into. Oh, and how far can we go before we actually have to engage the full drive system at all? Okay, stage complete, I'm here. Now what? Seems we don't have many options for leaving the base, let's take a look around. Okay. What do you mean, you want me to use the drone? Visit the viewpoint. Oh, okay, the viewpoint's over there, it's... I'm trying to remember how to tell how far away it is. Oh yeah, maybe e-brake. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's go see what the next waypoint's got for us. There we go, stage complete. From here you have a great view, it might be worth checking everything out with binoculars. Okay. What if I don't want to check out everything with binoculars? What if I just want to go to the next waypoint, which appears to be over here, and the terrain does look like it might start getting a little bit more tricky here in a minute, which will be nice, because again, we're still in two-wheel drive here. Okay, start scanning, gotcha. Okay, it wants me to look closer. You mean like that? 
Look for a way down. Okay. Somebody strapped an oar to a tree. Alright, is this how the binocular thing works? Because I do actually kind of like this. This is pretty cool. Look closer. Oh my god, you're really going all in on this, aren't you? Okay, there's the way down. Success. This totem points to the safe path should be helpful, so keep an eye out. You know what, game? That actually looks like it might be a bit of fun. Okay, now I'm waiting for it to tell me I've got to do... Like, diff locks or winch point or something. I mean, quite frankly, if I had the transmission I wanted, I would just be in, like, low one. And I would let it roll. But I'm pretty sure the game's just gonna make me do... Yeah, okay, it just wants me to go down a little bit and then turn. Well, hold that thought, because I don't know quite where the next point is. Okay, it looks like we've gotta go all the way down to the bottom and then that away. So let's just bounce our way down. I do like the fact that the brakes squeal, that's kinda cool. Alright, there we go. There's the next waypoint, I believe. Okay, game, I'm here. Now what? There's the next waypoint. Explore the area. Oh, is this the thing I have to do, like, the binoculars again? Okay, we can do the binoculars again. Is there something in particular I'm meant to be looking for? Oh, no, I was just meant to use the binoculars. Okay. Find a way up. Well, that don't sound too difficult. I would say we go over there, skirt around that tree, and then just lip up over the cliff. In fact, the only thing I'm curious about is, are we going to actually have to go into four-wheel drive to do it? Looks like a difficult climb, but if you lower your tire pressure, you'll notice a difference right away. Well, game, let's see if I actually need to lower my tire pressure first, shall we? Uh, okay, give me a second. Let me see if there's a better way to do this. Yes, yes, there is. There's a little road over there. Okay, well, let's go drive up the little road then. Okay, I discovered a new climb, and I have a sneaking feeling that we are going to need four-wheel drive here, so let's just hit that. Then let's very nicely boop our way up over the hill. Ta-da, we're here. Okay, now what? Where do you want me to go? Over here on the edge of the cliff, or do you want me to go down to the bottom? What? Where am I supposed to be? Alright, pick up the cargo. Equipment is one box, and it looks like it's down there. Which means I'm actually going to have to back up and go down the hill. Hold on here really quick. That actually looks like it might be an even better path than the one we're currently on. Apart from that one rock, at least, it doesn't look too terrible. So yeah, let's try going down over there. Okay, yeah, that was a bit of a fool. That was actually a really big drop, and that would have been a very bad thing to drive over. Okay, well, let's go get the box. Oh, and Kel Surprise, I forgot to re-engage the divs. Alright, I discovered a thing. Trade. I do actually quite like the inventory system in this game. It's kind of cool. This is going to be the equipment box that the hophead left out here in the desert. Alright, now what do you want me to do? 
Stage complete. You just want me to go home, I assume? Okay, next waypoint is over here. Yeah, okay, so now all I gotta do is drive back home. You know what? Piece of cake. Okay, deliver. Equipment box. There you go. Expedition completed. Now, oh, apparently we now have unlocked the mechanic. Hopefully he's not the guy that ate like three peyote buttons and wandered off into the desert to die, but yeah, we do have a mechanic now. And apparently we've unlocked the heavy bull bar bumper. We got a bonus for taking less than 200 damage, which again, I don't think I have taken anywhere near the uh, less than damage thing for a bonus in any of the missions I've done yet. Oh, and we got 4,600 from the Arizona government. Cool. I am still hopeful that the Carpathian Mountains will actually be a bit more challenging. So, let's go find out. So I want the logistician. So Connor, dude, you're coming with me. We'll just add you to the team. Then we'll head back and we'll go to our truck. We will pick the acetone, because I absolutely love this truck. I want to add that, please, and thank you. Now, out of curiosity, can I deploy without the stupid jack screw and the stupid anchor? No. No, I cannot. Okay. Nothing says freedom like being forced to pay 3200 bucks up front. Uh, okay. All you guys out there watching this right now, start placing your bets on whether or not I will have to use either of these idiotic things. Much less both of them. Um, I thought I was bringing the specialist with me, but I don't see him. Unless he's in that bag in the way back. <laughs> Okay, game, where do you want me to go first? You want me to go to the other side of camp. Gotcha. Okay, that does not look too difficult, so how about we shift it into low. We'll hit the thing, we'll hit the diff locks, and we will head out and see how long it takes us to need four-wheel drive. Because this map actually looks like it's going to be a whole lot muckier. Alright, stage completed, we're here. Now where do we go? You want me to go out towards the lake, I think. You do. Alright, so the best trail is probably going to be to go up to here, and then just muck our way through the woods. Oops, sorry, that's not the waypoint button. There's that stage complete. Now, looks like we need to head there, but we need to verify the heading first. Use the binoculars to look around. Gotcha. There's the binoculars. That's what you want me to look at, I assume. Can I click? Move the camera. Escape to exit. Okay, why did I have to do the binoculars? I mean, basically, I'm going to drive down there and drive to that square. I mean, I can see the friggin' thing from here. It's not like it was hiding in a bush or anything. There's that waypoint done. Now where do you want me to go? Climb up the mountain. Okay, driving up a mountain always has a high risk of overturning the car. Lower the tire pressure for better grip. Um, no. I don't think so. I think I will lower the tire pressure if and when I have to lower the tire pressure. In fact, no offense to the game, but we haven't even gone into four-wheel drive yet. Alright, let's see how far up we can get in two-wheel drive. This is a hard climb. You should use the tire inflation system in a winch. Yeah, I'll get right on that game. 
Now, we're not going to be able to get off of this one particular rock without actually using the four-wheel drive system. So, four-wheel drive. Oh gee, Cal Surprise, we made it up fine without using the tire inflation system or without using the winch. So what do you think of that game? Okay, we discovered a new airdrop. Let's do some trading. What did we get? We got another jack screw we don't need. We got some quartz. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's probably to do with base building. And we got some supplies. Hooray! Don't need any fuel. Don't need any spare parts. Everything's copacetic. Now where do you want me to go? Let me guess, I gotta drive back home? Really quick, we'll just hit the map, we'll make sure that's where it wants me to be. Uh, nope, we're not driving back home quite yet. Oh, we have to go over and explore the area, that's fine. That just means we gotta drive back down into the woods and poke around a little bit. Now see, again, this is a point where I really, really, really wish I had, like, a low-range gearbox so that I could just very delicately let the engine do all the braking and not have to risk locking up my tires and sliding out of control. Okay, that one's done. Deliver the cargo to base. Absolutely 100%. I would be more than delighted to do that. Where am I and where is base? I am here. So essentially drive around the lake and home. Gotcha. Which means I want to go to there. I want to go to there. I want to go to there. And then I want to go home. Okay. Is it as far away as it looks on this map? That would be a no. Now, are we going to actually need four-wheel drive for this? That would be a no. Okay, we delivered the supplies. Oh, no, wait, I have to hit deliver. Okay, there we go. We completed the expedition. We took absolutely no damage, so we got 500 bucks. We unlocked the hydrologist. We made another 4,800. And unsurprisingly, we did not use any of the jack screws. We didn't use the stupid winch points. We only used a half a tank of fuel, so fuel economy, way overrated. So we not only didn't need any of the recommended junk, we didn't need any of the optional junk. Okay, well, I know I've been a bit of a negative Nancy about this game, but I don't want you going away with the wrong idea. Okay, I do really, really like this game. It has a lot of positive things going for it, and it is easily one of the best off-roading games you can get. The one depressing thing, however, is that this is a game I really, really like, when it could have been a game I absolutely loved. So yeah, I'm definitely going to play more of it. I don't know if we will be playing more on the channel or not. It will pretty much will depend on how this episode does. But yeah, if you've got an itch to play an off-road game, I would definitely recommend this one, as long as you're not as fussy as I am. And on that catty little note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. You know, in spite of the fact that I spent most of it complaining. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.